What is going on, guys? Money Webby here, back again on Thursday. Coming off a good night last night on Wednesday with some very good plays in the video. Russell Westbrook went off against the Magic. We had Kyle Lowry have one of his best games of the year. Then we had Karis LeVert returning a lot of value. Harrison Barnes had a good game as well. The one play that really screwed us was Jonathan Simmons for the Magic. He got in some foul trouble early in that game, which sucked. And then the second half, he took the backseat to Aaron Gordon, who was having a crazy good game for the Magic in that one. But we'll take it as we're given. We had some good plays. So drop a like in the video if you're ready to go here today. A smaller slate, five games. We'll make it worth though. I got my top five plays and my Dollar Tree play of the day. Favorite value, guys. So let's kick it off with Damian Lillard at 8,500. Going against the Bucks. He'll be matched up with Eric Bledsoe in this game, who isn't a good defender. And Lillard definitely got the better of him last year. He had two games against him out of the three times that matched up, I believe, getting over 30 regular points of scoring uh, at the field or whatever. So he had a good game twice against them and I think another game did pretty well as as well so I think Eric Blood so can't really match up that well against Damian Lillard in the spot and he should be able to have another good game here scoring and then just getting some assist as well maybe a few more rebounds he only got one rebound last game so hopefully we'll see a little bit more uh Positive regression there, back to the mean. He's averaging five rebounds a game. So I think he can have a similar uh, stat line to what he's been looking at at the year. Maybe a few more points. I could see like 35 and 5 for Lord in this game against Milwaukee. So I like this spot. I think it should be a bit more uh, fast paced and high scoring. With Milwaukee, uh, when they got Eric Blood, so it seems like their pace is kind of going up a bit. So that's good for DraftKings as well. So I like Damian Lillard a lot in this spot. Lock him in as my first guy. We're going to stick with another guard here. Austin Rivers, point guard slash shooting guard eligibility. With Blake Griffin out for a while, Austin Rivers is really going to have to step up here. And he's been trending up with a minutes 37 and 38 over the last couple games. And his shots as well, 12, 14, and 16. So that's a very good sign. And the drafting points have been there, uh, 35 and 39, two out of the last three. So I think he can get over 30 drafting points again in this game. Going against Utah, um, both these teams are kind of banged up with Gobert and Blake Griffin out. So I'm not sure if, I mean, I guess that Utah, Utah could possibly blow them out. But I think it should stay close with them being in L.A. Utah isn't as nearly as good of a team out of Utah. So I think uh, Austin Rivers can have a good game here. They're going to need him scoring the ball. And they need someone to step up with Blake Griffin out. So Austin Rivers is that guy. Lock him in. Next up, another guard. That has been doing very well recently is Chris Dunn at 6,000. He's been having some huge games, 48 against Phoenix. That was a good matchup, but he has another good matchup against Denver here. He also had 45 against Charlotte, uh, so he has that upside. He can score, he can get rebounds, assists, and also he gets some steals. Uh, he's averaging two steals a game, so that's a very good thing for uh, DraftKings as well. So at 6,000, I think he can still return value here. Going against Denver, Jamal Murray is not a good defender, so I think Chris Dunn can definitely get have done uh, no pun intended there I didn't even mean to say that but that worked out I guess but Chris Dunn think he's in a good spot here uh should stay close Denver has been kind of underwhelming or overwhelming I don't know what the word I'm looking for but they haven't been performing that well as of late so I'm not sure that Denver can really blow them out in this game uh so I think Chris Dunn can have a good game here uh, usage has been up 16 shots last game when he gets hot he gets it done and this is the spot lock him in uh, next up another young guy we got John Collins at 5,500 going against Cleveland he should be drawing the start I think they already came out and said he will be starting with Dwayne uh, Deadman out for a while I think John Collins is really going to step up when he gets the minutes he's able to usually get it done 38 minutes against the Clips 39 36 against uh, San Antonio he got 35 DK points so the opportunity is there to get the rebounds and the points uh, against Cleveland he only saw 24 minutes against them earlier in the year and he still got 33 drafting points so he should be getting over 30 minutes as long as it stays close and he stays out of foul trouble and that means more opportunities for him so I think he can pretty easily get over 30 drafting points if everything breaks right in this game so lock in John Collins and for another big man we're gonna go with Al Horford here going against Philly I am a bit concerned that uh if Ben Simmons sits that the Celtics could possibly blow out the 76ers in this game because they'll be down uh, in bead Simmons and TJ McConnell but I think Al Horford sets up in a good spot here 
going against Philly. It would either be a Mary Johnson or a Rich Homie Quan uh, starting for the 76ers, who aren't aren't nearly the same defenders as Joel Embiid. Uh, so they'll probably go to the post a bit more and some more shots and more opportunities for Horford in general in this game. And he's able to fill it up around there as well with rebounds and assists. So I think this setup is a pretty good game for Horford here. Uh, good matchup. So some more shot attempts going up. And the price is down a bit at 6800 So lock him in there. So that's the top five. You got 5,900 remaining per player. Damian Lillard, Austin Rivers, Johnny Collins, Al Horford, and Chris Dunn. And for my Dollar Tree play of the day, I mentioned that TJ McConnell is out. So that opens up some minutes and some opportunities for Jared Bayless here at 3,400. Very cheap. They got him priced like TJ McConnell is playing. And he uh, got some good run. He actually started against the Celtics last game. And he had a good game. He had 24 drafting points, 7 out of 12 from the field, and 4 to 6 from 3 in 30 minutes. So if he can just have that game again, he'll return a lot of value at only 3,400. If he has that like same exact game, that'll be over 7 times value. So great value for uh, this in general to pay up for some guys. On this slate, so Jared Bayless, lock him in. You got 7,100 remaining per player, so you can got, try to get a stud in that lineup as well. With Jared Bayless, it really opens up a lot of opportunities on this slate. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Sorry for the late upload. My computer was just going slow as molasses when I was trying to upload this video. Uh, earlier, I had to restart the computer. Then it took like almost like 30 minutes to get it rebooted. So I don't know what the hell is going on with this thing, but... uh. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got something out of value. Hopefully, we can keep this going again tonight. Off that good night with the plays yesterday. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already to get these plays every single day. I wish you guys the best of luck on this smaller slate on Thursday. It should be a good one, though. Some good games and some good value is definitely on the board. So we'll see you back here again on Friday.